Want to learn how to make a music visualizer video like this one? Great. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'll be showing you how to do this using Veed, the online editing software. You can join Veed for free today using the link in the description, or you can search for Veed, V-E-E-D, in your search engine and click the link. Once you have signed up and logged into Veed, you'll be prompted to create a new project. Hit the upload a file button and find the audio file you wish to use. Veed will then give you the option to use one of these three templates. However, I want to start with a blank canvas. I do want to make this video and upload it to YouTube, so I will be changing the size of the video to begin with. To resize the video, head over to the settings tab and select size. You can then scroll down the drop down menu and choose which size you wish to use. To add an audio visualizer, head over to the elements tab in the sidebar. Scroll down until you see add sound waves. I'm going to press view all so I can see all the sound waves available for me. I'm going to select this round one here and Veed will automatically drop it onto your video canvas. You can now see that the sound wave has been added to the timeline on top of the audio file. To reposition your sound wave, click and drag on the sound wave. You can also enlarge it by dragging out the dots in the corners. I'm now going to press play so you can see what the sound wave looks like. I can also make adjustments to the sound wave itself. If I click on the sound wave in the timeline, this will open up the edit sound wave feature. If I didn't want to have the sound wave as a circle, I could then use the drop down menu to select a different one. I can change the color change the opacity and even control the decibels. If I didn't want the sound wave throughout the entire video, I can drag the ends to the areas where I want it to begin and end. If I didn't want a black background, I can also change that by going to the settings tab in the sidebar and changing the color of the background. You can also choose to have an image or a video as your background. You can do this by selecting the upload button on the sidebar and selecting upload video or image. You can see that the video clip is a lot longer than the music and the sound wave, so I'm just going to edit that. I can do this by selecting the video in the timeline and clicking the split button and then deleting the unwanted video. I'm also showing how to upload an image too. You can see that the image has been placed on top of the sound wave. I want it to be behind. I can go down to the timeline and click and drag on the image box and pull it under the sound wave box. <laughs> Once you are happy with your video, it's time to export. You can do this by hitting the export button in the top right and then using the drop down menu to select the quality you wish to export in. When you're ready, press export video. Veed will then automatically render your video. This could take a couple of seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Once your video has been rendered, you can hit the play button one last time just to make sure you're happy with it. If you do want to make any changes, go ahead and click the edit video button and this will take you directly back into the Veed editing suite. If you are happy with your finished video, however, go ahead and click the download MP4 button and Veed will automatically save it to your computer. And that's how you make a music visualizer video quickly. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Don't forget you can join Veed for free today with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.